Hey guys, welcome to Cafe IO. Today it's more going to be a conversation. There are no tools to be shared, no technology to be talked about. However, I am going to address a very pertinent question, which is choosing between architecture or an engineering manager. If you are starting your career, so essentially this video is all about this topic, which is architect versus engineering. Now, how do we differentiate both the roles? There's a lot of overlaps and then there's tons of, you know, overlapping skills, be it in the form of technical skills or people skills. Both of these roles should be really approachable from, you know, people's standpoint, people shouldn't be feel hesitant to ask you for your technical expertise. And you should have the ability to, you know, uh, influence decisions irrespective of the fact whether they directly report to you or not. The other side is people should be really competent. You should be really competent from a technical perspective. If you're an architect, this is really the core for you. For an engineering manager, this has to be balanced with the ability to manage teams. Now, let's say if you are a software engineer and uh, you know, you're working day to day, you're coding, you're designing systems, you're testing, or you have, you know, master design patterns. If you are in India, you have probably spent four to seven years and you're looking to see which direction to go. You want to go deep into development because, and then you will find some degree of stagnation after seven, eight years in terms of pay because India really isn't great for from a development pay perspective when you hit ceiling of eight to 10 years. After that, you know, more is expected. It's a different market uh, outside in the US too. You, I, I have had colleagues who are 25, 30 years into development and they love doing that. So very different market. So at some point in your career, you would have these, you know, direction. So we'll, we'll want to go deep into this and let's start by nailing down two aspect. You need to be very clear with the things that you love doing. You need to be super, super awesome and uh, extremely clear about what are the areas that you enjoy, be it coding, designing, etc. And you need to be able to also judge yourself around areas which you are fundamentally good at. It could be negotiation, working with people, designing again for a coder, sometimes design doesn't come naturally for a designer, coding or testing doesn't come naturally. Or you could be a people person and different, different roles, or you could be an analyst for that matter. So here's the simple decision tree. If you love coding, if you love design and you're naturally good at people, which means you like the low level view, you like the detailed view, you are more of a let's build it, let's solve it, let's you know execute kind of a guy should take the ladder of an engineering manager. Both of these career tracks in my view should get you decent pay, so pay shouldn't be a problem. Engineering manager is not an IC role. It's more of a team role. You end up, you know, uh, the primary responsibility is the growth of your team. It's the delivery management, uh, you know, feedbacks are handled constructively. You will be part of their appraisal processes. You could still be coding. You could be doing code reviews. You could be setting processes internal to the team, etc. On the other hand, if you are learning and implementing new technologies is your bread and butter, you're more of a big picture kind of guy, right? Uh, you, you really like seeing things from top and, you know, seeing, hey, there are three systems. These three need to talk. This is how they should talk. This is a new requirement. Uh, this should go into more system A, B, C. Uh, I'm not getting into the details of which architect are we talking about. There could be solution, enterprise, blah, 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 infrastructure, all of that. But essentially a big picture, picture versus detailed view. So if you're an architect, your primary responsibility would be to get technical answers for the team. You might help in designing, depending on where you are. If you're a software architect, you might even do code reviews, help your engineers. If you're more of a solution architect, you would be integrating interoperability enterprise architect much higher in the ladder in terms of the broadness of view. So these are the two fundamental directions and path you can take. Now, if you look at in, 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 in India, I think the pay band for both of these skills are relatively decent and uh, there isn't anything to be worried about in terms of pay or, uh, you know, promotions, etc. 
engineering managers would automatically upgrade themselves to senior engineering managers directors of engineering etc and architects also have similar paths these two roles work really really closely together engineering manager often focus towards one single team and completely inward focused while architects are more sideways focused you know my working with multiple engineering managers and all that so yeah that's a little bit thought on this i want to end this conversation with a simple picture so here's what an architecture versus engineering is and i love the construction industry uh you know there's always parallels i can draw from architecture perspective and so on the left hand side is an architect architect trying to draw seeing the requirement doing the big picture view while an engineering manager is really on the ground nailing it out with the team suggesting directing coaching and helping people build so all the very best if whichever will you stick into if you think there's an alternate career path you want to chase or if you have any questions as to how to do it you want to reach back don't hesitate to put in comments all right bye bye